Okay, Patriots, just want to read this to you really quick. You're going to be hearing Gasara, Gasara, G E S A R A, come up. It's going to surface on social media, it's going to be talked about. On the news, this is big, big news. Okay, this involves the economy being reset. So while all of the coronavirus uh, news is being covered behind the scenes, there is an economic reset occurring at the moment, and this has been in the works for a while. I'm going to read to you this article, November third, twenty sixteen. It's twenty answers for this Gisara update. Uh, many today in the Republic of the United States are asking what the heck is really going on with our presidential elections, markets, military, foreign policy, budget, tax codes, and social welfare programs. Few know that GASARA, which is the acronym for Global Economic Security and Reformation Act, has been recently implemented by all 209 sovereign nations of the world and is the most groundbreaking reformation act to sweep not only this country but the entire planet across the turbulent and brief history of mankind. The single act does away with cancers like the Federal Reserve Bank, IRS, and the USA Incorporated Shadow Government, plus so much more. Yes, the United States currently right now is a corporation. So our president, uh, Trump, is the president of this corporation. As of Friday, November 4th, 2016, when it is publicly announced at the United Nations in New York City, Gasara will immediately be implementing the following changes. There's 20. I'm going to go through them very quickly. These are very important, okay? Number one, cancels all credit card, mortgage, and other bank debt due to illegal banking and government activities. Many refer to this as a jub jubilee or complete forgiveness of debt. Number two, abolishes income tax. Number three, abolishes the IRS with employees of the IRS will be transferred to into the U.S. Treasury national sales tax area. That just recently occurred, and if it has not finished yet, it's in the midst of wrapping up. Number four, creates a 17%, I have heard of 14%, flat rate, non-essential new items only sales tax revenue for the government. In other words, food and medicine will not be taxed, nor will used items such as old homes. Number five, increases benefits to senior citizens. Number six, returns constitutional law to all courts and legal matters. Number seven, reinstates the original title of nobility amendment. Number eight, establishes new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days of Gisara's announcement. The interim government will cancel all national emergencies and return U.S. back to constitutional law. Very interesting. President Trump, a couple days ago, he did declare a national emergency for all 50 states, which was unprecedented. That's never happened before. Why do you think? Well, this is just around the corner, all right? Um, and it did say, it, it also mentioned right here, number eight, establishes new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days of Gasara's announcement. So if you hear, it sounds crazy, very far-fetched, but if you hear possibly of the president stepping down, it is because of this. Because right now he is the president of the United States Corporation incorporated okay so we're going to go back to a constitutional republic that's the aim that's what he wants that's what the patriots want it's a republic based on the constitution so he could be off for the interim will he come back will he put somebody else between then and november um will somebody be making a debut some people are saying perhaps maybe John John Jr. We don't know at this point, but keep that all in mind. Number nine, monitors elections and prevents illegal election activities of special interest groups. There's been a lot of talk lately about voter fraud, okay? Uh, number 10, creates a new U.S. Treasury rainbow currency backed by gold, silver, and platinum precious metals, ending the bankruptcy of the United States initiated by Franklin Roosevelt in 1933. Remember in your history class where Franklin Roosevelt uh, was asking for all the gold? 
he was demanding all the gold be bought by the government and for you to surrender that or turn it in. Yeah, number 11, forbids the sale of American birth certificate records as chattel property bonds by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Number 12, initiates new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with constitutional law. There you go again. Number 13, eliminates the Federal Reserve System during the transition period. The Federal Reserve will be allowed to operate side by side of the U.S. Treasury for one year in order to remove all Federal Reserve notes from the money supply. Number 14, restores financial privacy. Number 15, restrains all judges and attorneys in constitutional law. Number 16, ceases all aggressive U.S. government military actions worldwide. Number 17, establishes peace throughout the world. How about that? 18, releases unprecedented prosperity with, in, with enormous sums of money for humanitarian purposes. Number 19, enables the release of over, get this, 6,000 patents of suppressed technologies that are being withheld from the public under the guise of national security, including free energy, devices, anti-gravity, and sonic healing machines. Tesla comes to mind. Number 20. Eliminates all current and future nuclear-powered weaponry on planet Earth. There is so much good that is coming with this. There is an economic reset this is the groundwork for that, and it's occurring not just here, but all over the world under the guise of this COVID-19 pandemic. Lots to look forward to. What an awesome time to be alive. You are a patriot, and you are going to be a part of this great, great awakening occurring. So embrace it. Thank goodness.